70 houses lost in the Avon Loop after the earthquakes. Now, this place is almost unrecognisable. It's a park instead of a home for lots of people. Everyone's um, everyone gone. has left. Mm. Yeah. There's quite a few trees still left and trees that we planted, trees that mum planted. It's my mum. Yep. Elsie and Jack's house was just behind this corfire tree here. It was a very small section. We'd owned the house for about 10 years after Mum died. We talked to Peter Bevan, who ended up being the architect, and we all agreed that it wasn't worth keeping the old house. His idea was to build a brand new house that looked like the old house at the front, but when you opened the door, it was all modern going through. A typical Peter Bevan design, still using lots of volume. We essentially built the house between the earthquakes. Yeah. Um, in, the, in the 2011 earthquake, we had a crack about that long in one corner of the board. That was it. Yeah. No damage. But the house right next door to us was pulled in two and had a gap in the middle. Yeah. Dips in the riverbank, um, liquefaction rising to the surface. And the damage all around here was very evident. Yeah, it was a was sad there. time. Yeah. And keeping it together was a real focus for us yeah. in that time. Yeah. Do you want to go? No, no, we don't. We really wanted to live in a place with a strong community, which the Avon Loop still is. This is my home, Taranga Waiwai, really. We could have dug our toes in and stayed forever. We could still be there now. Um, people have done that in red zone areas, but we just thought that'd be weird. We didn't know where we were going to go at that stage. We just packed everything we possibly could with the help of our demolition team into our 40 foot shipping container. We're in Nelson South in the Braemar Eco Community's Community Garden. The lack of biochar helps the plants that we grow. We've left our Christchurch community and we've found this community. We have fallen on our feet many ways. We really love it, we really love it here. We have a community of about 20 people, range of ages from our youngest at five up to nearly 80. So do you own land personally? Yes, we own a thousand square metres of land on our individual section, and that comes with a shareholding for all the common land that we all own together. The move to Nelson, um, it, it took us some time to make the decision, but when we had, uh, uh, it was to another community, and that was a, a really important thing yeah. for us. That's our house up there, the greenhouse with red trim, and just below, down to the right, is the orange shipping container. We brought everything up from Christchurch. We've used about 80% of the old house here. We said to the architect, here's the site, Here's what's in the container. What can you come up with? Here's the plan. The stairs have been repurposed. In our old house in Christchurch, they were a mezzanine floor. The kitchen is this exact same kitchen in the same layout that we had in Christchurch. Bathrooms, bathroom stuff, most of it's from the old house. Yeah. Um, more windows from the old house that were, they were up higher in the old house. Doors. These doors, um, we even pulled off all the trims. I like the fact that a lot of the elements are familiar and that they came out of the Christchurch house, but the actual feeling of the house, the vibe of the house is different. Not a bad view. <laughs> I'm hugely happy here, I love it. Go guys. I suppose we're about trying to live lightly on the land, be as eco-friendly as we can, as green as we can. Yum, yum, yum. You know, in terms of social issues, things like that, we all do end up thinking pretty similarly. You wouldn't find a National Party voter here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic place. We didn't, didn't know there was an eco village here, we just found the place on a real estate website. And, uh, yeah. and then we thought, wow, that's something we've dreamt of back in our youthful hippie days. 
gets done faster if we do it together. It is cheaper living here. We can grow our own meat. We've got a dozen sheep up the hill. Um, we can grow vegetables, we've got fruit. This is our shared library. Uh, and we do some other things like share the, the power cost. We pay $20 each a month for unlimited internet because we share it. We have one connection and then we beam it out by radio to all the different houses. Wow. Great. It's 12 years, isn't it, since the earthquake? Walnut, I've grown out walnut. An awful lot's happened, but in a funny sort of way, the earthquake did us a favour. We've ended up in such a happy place, I wouldn't be anywhere else. <laughs>